and unto Jacob by the name of God Almighty. But by my name, Jehovah, the Lord, was I not known to them. That you may reveal yourself, O God, on this holy mountain tonight. Unto every soul that gather here tonight, Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. Somebody see. We worship you, Jehovah. We worship you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for answering our cases. We worship you, Jesus. Reflecting an ever increasing glory that comes from the Father. We worship you, Jesus. The Lord told us this is the month of fulfillment. <clears throat> In the book of Isaiah 14, 24, it says, The Lord Almighty has sworn, Surely as I plan, so it shall be. And as I have purpose, so it will stand. We're going to lift up our voices and begin to call forth and say, Father, let your plans for my life override every plan contrary. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. As you have planned, it shall be. As I go to the end of this year, let the plans of God for my life override every plan contrary. Let your plan, O oh God, for my household override the plans of mortal men. <clears throat> Let the plans of God, O oh God, for my children override the plans of the devil. Let your plans, O oh God, for Christ's faith tabernacle church be established. Let it override the plans of man or the devil. Begin to declare your purpose for me, O oh God, shall stand. Let your purpose for my life be fulfilled. Let your purpose for my life be fulfilled. Let your purpose for me stand. Establish your purpose for my household in the midst of your church on earth. Establish your purpose for Christ's faith tabernacle in this country. Establish your purpose for us in the nations of the world, in India, 
Lord, in Benin Republic, in Nigeria, let your purpose for CFT be established, O oh God, in Ireland, in Germany, Lord, in Sweden, let your purpose for all be established. Father, in Jamaica, we pray in the name of Jesus, in Sierra Leone, in Ghana, Lord, your purpose for CFT, let it be established. Makarabo saka kokolebo mekale rote se ke papa goko ki pre kale donda se pra kale do ye mekuri kale monra kasata. Let your purpose for us be established. Let your purpose for us be established. Let your purpose, O oh God, be established. Your purpose for CFT Church all over the world in the Arab nations. Malere kumbale do sarada. Let your purpose for us in United Kingdom. Britain, Wales, Scotland, Ireland, let it be established, O oh God. Every life in this church, let them fulfill your purpose. Let every life in this church fulfill your purpose. Every family in this church fulfill your purpose. Let every house in this church fulfill your purpose. Oh, Lord, we pray. For there is blessing in your purpose. There is goodness in your purpose. Let it be unto us, O God, according to your plans. Let your plan have way in the midst of us. Father, we pray thee, from the youngest to the oldest in CFT, let your purpose override the purpose of Satan. Malero cobarendo si pralamanda, sir. Father, we pray thee. In Jesus' anointed name, we are praying with thanksgiving. You are going to pray also in the book of Ezekiel. You know, Satan, we can see the hand of the devil across the globe, deceiving many, hindering many, shipwrecking some. But yet, in the midst of it, the Spirit of God is moving upon those who belong to the one who lives forever and ever. To fulfill the word of God and bring the word of God to manifestation. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 12, verse 21, it says, The word of the Lord came to me, son of man. What is this proverb that I have heard in the land of Israel? The days, are go, the days go by and every vision comes to nothing. Say to them, this is what the sovereign law says. I am going to put an end to this proverb and they will no longer quote it in Israel. Say to them, the days are near and now when every vision will be fulfilled. You want to pray this for yourself. If God can say to them, the vision of doom, he will bring it to pass. He will even bring more to pass. The vision that is, you know, of, of his own personal plan for his people. There are some of you who have waited for one thing or the other, and it has become like a reproach. And people are saying that, look at him. We are better than him. He serves God. We are even better. <laughs> And they are saying to you, how long will all this vision? He, he dreamed big dreams. The same dream he dreamed every year, nothing happened. Tonight, God will put an end to it. Yeah. You are going to tell the Lord, according to the word of the Lord that came to Ezekiel. Father, arise, bring to manifestation every vision you are given to me. Give me resources to fulfill my vision. Lift up your voice and begin to pray.
It says I will put an end. I will put an end to the proverb. Tell the Lord, put an end to the proverb in my life. People who have been saying to me, how long will he wait? We will see, we will see, we will see what he's saying. Every day he talks about his God, but nothing is happening. And they compare their empty life with a fulfilled life in God. Father put an end to their proverb. People who said to us, God has abandoned him. Let them run to us and say, your God is God. Put an end to the proverb of the devil over our lives. To the proverb of the wicked people over our lives. People who scorn us because of what we are believing God for. And we are waiting patiently for God to fulfill. Father, put an end to their proverb. Some of them say, if God called you, why is your life like this? If you are truly a child of God, why is this happening to you? Tell the Lord God, remember me today, oh God. <clears throat> Put an end to that proverb, Father. Let my vision be fulfilled. Every vision you have given to me, let them come to fruition. In this month of November, send resources to me to fulfill vision. Send me resources. Send me helpers. Tell God, send me helper. Bartimaeus was blind, but for a time. When God sent Jesus, that was the end of his demise. Tell the Lord, let your word come to me tonight. Send your word to my heart tonight. Send your word to my life tonight. And bring manifestation to my vision. Raise helpers for me who will help my vision. Father, send your holy angels. Give them charge over me. To bring about the manifestation of the vision you have given to me. The visions of heaven I have received. Inspiration that should transform generation. Which you have given me in the past. And I have dumped them. Revive them in my spirit, O oh God. Bring them back to my memory, O oh King of heaven. All the visions and encounters I have are forgotten. Tell God. Dreams you have given me, but I've forgotten them. Bring them back to me in this November. And bring them to manifestation. Let heaven support my vision. Let human beings support my vision. Let mortal men run after my vision. Bring my vision to manifestation. Let them come to fruition, O God. Put an end to those who scorn me. Put an end to their proverb in my life. They said to me, all your mates have achieved this. And they said to me, how long will you wait? Even some said, it will never happen to you again. But Lord, our trust is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. That which mortal men said is impossible. We call them to possibility. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. By your mighty hand, O oh God, surprise our enemies, surprise our mockers, those who have laughed against us. It is our time to laugh the last laugh. Those who have taunted us, it is our time to show them what our God has done. Tell the Lord, arise, O oh my King, bring my vision to manifestation. Bring my vision to fruition, O oh God. Bring my vision, bring provision for my vision. When the servant of God said that shall be abundance in the gates of Samaria, the one who did not believe did not see it. Tell the Lord, let your word work for me. Bring my vision to fulfillment. Thank you, Father God. In Jesus' anointed name we have prayed. The, vi the good visions God has given to you, that you saw yourself in the real place God has ordained, and you woke up, and you found yourself where you were. Tonight, I call heaven to manifestation over your life. That which was in the spirits revealed, 
override every physical condition that surrounds you. You didn't hear me. I say the condition of your life give way for the visions of heaven. In the grave are many visions, riches that can transform the universe. But the people who carry the vision die without fulfillment. You will live. I say you will live. You will fulfill your vision. Uh -uh. The Bible says, and God said, he laid a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Your enemies will not die. I say your enemies will live. I say your enemies will not die. In their presence, your impossibility will be made possible. The reason why people scorn you, before those who have scorned you before, who have molested you, who have said shame on you, listen to me, people who have laughed at you before you and behind you, in this month of November, they will say your God is God. According to the word of heaven, and the word of the Lord came to me and said, say unto them, in this very month of November, those who laugh at you, they will now celebrate with you. They have laughed, but you are now laughing. I say they have laughed at you, but it's your own time to laugh now. I say your laughter shall be the laughter of fulfillment. Your laughter shall be the laughter of joy. Your laughter shall be the laughter of glory. I say people will join with you to celebrate your life. Every vision come to fulfillment. Provision come from heaven. I declare that favor will rest upon you. Grace will work for you. I say favor locate you wherever you are. I say the favor of heaven locate you. Mercy from the throne of grace. Receive in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When you leave this meeting tonight, you will begin to manifest the visions. People that God has given the treasures of this world, they will find you out. So shall it be. And so it is for you. He will lay a table before you in the presence of those who laughed at you. <laughs> Your cup shall be filled and they shall run over. And then they will say the Lord had done great things for them. Yes, you will say the Lord had done great things for us. So we rejoice. For all your years of sowing and sorrow with seed, you begin to come back with sheaves. In the name of the Lord of hosts. Somebody say amen. amen. One more prayer in that scripture. God dealt with two things. He dealt with vision and he dealt with his word. He said... Look at verse, verse 25. It says, but I, the Lord, will speak what I will, and it shall be fulfilled without delay. Amen. I, the Lord, will speak what I will, it shall be fulfilled without delay. Amen. Listen to me. You will pray and tell God, every prophecy spoken before I was born, about me. Prophecy spoken while I was born and I was growing. Till now that I am in you, open the book of remembrance and bring them to pass. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. The Bible says, God said, my word will not delay any longer. Every prophecy spoken concerning me before I was conceived, during the conception in my mother's womb, when I was born and I was growing as a child, till I am matured of age, every blessing spoken to me, every word spoken to me by God, through the mouth of the Spirit, through mortal men, Father, do not let them delay. Remove delay between me and your word. Let your word work for me, Lord. Let your word work for my family. Pray for your husband and your wife and your children. Let your work work for my wife. Let your work work for my children. Let them work for my grandchildren. Let your word work for this house, oh God.
Let your word work for me, O oh God. Fulfill your word without delay for Christ with tabernacle. <coughs> you are the God of covenant. You are the word of covenant. Father, Paralasa Merodenda Sakabra Combalo Ramando Sotai. Father, tell the Lord, let me be a working fulfillment of your word. Let me be a working fulfillment of your word. A working fulfillment of your word. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' anointed name, we are praying with thanksgiving. Please sit down because you have been standing now for more than an hour.